I hope you're still pondering the question we asked during our last devotion. What type of vessel are you becoming during this season? Or what you are allowing to influence your thoughts, your decisions, and your actions? As a Christian or vessel of God, in this season you may be doubting His Word. You may be praying less because you're worried. No sense of evangelism. You don't care whether the gospel is shared or not because your needs are great. And you may lack fellowship with other believers due to the social distancing and no services at the church. This may be frustrating you. And if you look like this, I want you to know God still loves you. And he is prescribing for you today, Jeremiah 18, verse 1 through 4. You see, God never gives up on you. He loves you to the bitter end. Good morning and welcome to another morning devotion. The word of the Lord to the people of God, Jeremiah 18, 1 through 4. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the potter's house, and there I will give you my message. So I went down to the potter's house and saw him working at the wheel. But the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands. So the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as it seemed best to him. Then the word of the Lord came to me and said, Can I not do to you, Israel, as this potter does, declares the Lord? Like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hands, Israel. We must depend upon the firm foundation of God because it is sure. As we trust God's word, it will manifest in our identity as believers causing us to depart from iniquity, becoming vessels of honor unto God. You may be broken in this season, but the porter wants to make you over again. A vessel does not just appear. It is a work in progress. God is the potter and we are the clay. Let us pray. Father, thank you for the revelation of your word. And as you have spoken to Jeremiah, in the time when it was dark and gloomy, you are speaking to us in this season. Help us to hear your word, but like Jeremiah, get a revelation of your word. And so we pray for those who lead the nations. We pray particularly for our leaders, our prime minister, and all who are in parliament. We ask a blessing upon them, particularly those who are being impacted by this disease. God, let your presence overshadow and cause them to recuperate, showing that you are greater than our issues and our situation. We pray for the medical professionals as they seek a solution. May they know that you are the solution to this world's pollution. I pray a blessing upon the body of Christ that we may be vessels of honor, sanctified and meek for your use and prepared for every good work. Now we pray for families everywhere, and we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Heal, deliver, save, O oh God, and bring comfort to those in bereavement. We give you praise today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you today as you live to be a vessel of honor for God. Have a great day in the Lord.